Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Speed Build Sunday, the day of the week where I build whatever I want, because I can. So this week to celebrate Halloween, which is just around the corner, like literally it's, this video goes up on Sunday, Halloween is on Wednesday, it's like three days. It, yeah, it's right around the corner and I still don't have a costume. But yet again, I don't think I'm doing anything for Halloween. But I'll keep you guys updated if I do anything for Halloween. But anyways, to celebrate Halloween, I decided to pull some inspiration from Hollywood and make the Bates house. Like Norman Bates, the serial killer from Psycho and the TV show Bates Motel. And I was thinking, I was watching... um. What is it called? Deligracy. Oh my gosh. Deligracy and Little Simsy and all of them because they recently went to Sims Camp and with the terrain tool, I was thinking when I get my hands on the terrain tool, I can build the Bates Motel with this house on a hill overlooking the hotel. Or motel, actually. And I've never been, like, interested in getting terrain tool, like, that's never, or terrain tools. I've, it's never been on my, like, list of things that I want for The Sims. But now I actually really want it, so I could build just a replica of the Bates Motel. Yeah. Um, you will also see or notice in this house, it's very empty and sparse furnished that's because I imagine that this place is very not used I, I was gonna say not usable but it's, it's usable but it's just not frequently used the owners probably don't need that much stuff it's it was abandoned it's something like that that's what I imagine one of those two scenarios and I could have put spider webs and things but I don't know, I feel like it takes so much time to put cracks in the walls and spider webs that I told myself when I rebuild this lot, quotation marks, and I make like the motel, and I attach the motel to it, that's when I'll go ahead and I'll add spider webs and cracks to the walls and stuff to make it a lot more interesting. But how are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? Good, that's what I like to hear. Uh, I wonder, how many of you are gonna dress up for Halloween? Cause I wasn't planning on dressing up this year, or like doing anything for that matter. And I'm kind of like bummed because nobody's like throwing a Halloween party. Nobody's doing anything that makes me wanna dress up or buy a costume. Because there's no point of buying a costume if I'm just going to stay home. If you're going to buy a costume, you're going to like go out so people can see you and be like, Oh my gosh, your costume's amazing! And then you could be like, oh, oh no, I just like threw this together. But in reality, you worked really hard on it and you just wanted those compliments. Literally my life. And I do, as you can see, jump ahead in the video. I did keep it very short because... I am going to San Francisco this weekend. So when this video is up, either I'm in San Francisco planning on leaving, or I'm already on my way back from San Francisco, and it's a two hour drive. I am so happy. I needed a vacation so bad. And I have stories for you this week. Don't worry. This build wasn't just going to be about the build. Like I was, this voiceover was not going to be about the build at all. I have stories. Okay, this is why I need a vacation. So, last weekend was, and excuse my language, a shit show at work. It was awful. It was such an awful weekend. Okay, this is what happened. So, as some of you may know, my bosses are not the brightest where I work. So, 
what happened was my boss approved a whole bunch of people for overtime. No, not overtime, I'm sorry. Time off. So that cut us because, okay, I guesstimate that we have like 30 people who actually work, who like frequently work. And it cut us into like 15 people. And those 15 people were going to work the entire weekend. That included me. Because I had co-workers who went to Mexico. I had co-workers who went to Oregon. I had co-workers who went to the Monterey Clam Chowder Festival. It was... And then a few more people that I don't know where they disappeared to, but that's not my problem. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to go to work. So I had to close um, Saturday. So I get to work and I'm like, today's going to be a good day. I get to work, and the first thing to come out of my co-worker's mouth, um, Andrea, she looks at me, she goes, Dylan, guess what? And I was like, why? Um, what's her name? Stephanie called in sick, and I was like, what? So, and she's like, yeah, and there's nobody to cover, and, you know, Sam couldn't find anybody to cover, so you're gonna have to close by yourself. And I was like, what? That's... Why would... Who would do that to me? That's so mean. Which, I, knowing Stephanie, I have a feeling that she was actually sick. There's some, like, big fibbers where I work, but... Who just call in sick just because they don't want to work. But when it comes to Stephanie, I feel like she actually was sick. And so then I was like, fine. So I closed by myself... That was an experience. I had people coming in all the time. The entire shift, I was like struggling to get things done because you have to like, I'm trying to think of the proper words. Cause you know, you have to like restock. You have to restock after lunch rush. You have to do all this stuff. You need to cut tomatoes. You need to, the, lo the list goes on and on. And then it's not like, Usually, you can split the jobs between the two people, and it works out well, and you're off by 7.30. No, no, no. Not for me. I had no one to split the jobs between, so I got to do it all by myself. Yeah. That was fun. And then the next day, I was like, okay, I'm the janitor. It'll be super easy, because I'm the janitor. Usually, the janitor doesn't have to do that much. I woke up. My, no. My boss, Sam texted me five minutes before my alarm went off and like when my phone vibrates it's like an infant to me I shoot up out of my bed and I'm like oh my god what's going on why is it crying yeah my, so my boss woke, woke me up and texted me and said hey Dilly I'm just letting you know that um Kathy called in sick so there's and that leaves only Jackie to close by herself. And I was like, okay. And she goes, I'm going to need you to, like, help her close. And I was like, wait, first of all, who was there for me? Who was there to help me when I needed to close by myself? But it's okay, because, you know, what would Princess Diana do? And so I went into work, and I had to close. And then they, they told me, oh... Um, Kristen. Kristen should be coming in to work janitor. So she, you can teach her how to be the janitor and, you know, give her some, like, the list of things to do. And I was like, okay. Kristen never showed up. So I still had to be the janitor and close. And it was such a stressful day. It was so stressful. We had tour buses come through and order food. And you know, it's not like it's a family of like five and you have like five sandwiches to make. No, 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 no. Tour buses contain anywhere from 15 to 50 people. So we had a whole bunch of food to make. And then get this, this made me so angry. We were like, okay, we're kind of on track. It'll be fine. A family comes in 10 minutes before we close and they order, no joke, 10 sandwiches 
And it's not like it's just like a turkey sandwich where you just grab the bread and then you throw the turkey on there, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and cheddar. No, no, no. It's not that simple. They order the most complicated sandwiches that need to be ran through the toaster. And the toaster takes three minutes to toast bread. I am not even kidding. It takes three minutes. And they order the most complicated sandwiches. Like the ones that need to be ran through the toaster and need to be grilled. And all of them were like that. And then, okay, I believe they also ordered pizza bagels. And pizza bagels are like bagels that are pizza. So you take the bagel, you put some marinara sauce, cheese, pepperonis, and you run it through the toaster. The thing with those are, or is, you have to run them through twice because it doesn't melt the cheese all the way. So that's six minutes. On, and then we still have like closing stuff to do. So me and my coworker Jackie were there until like, because we closed early on Sundays. We were there till a, a little after six. So we got half an hour of overtime. It was <laughs> so bad. We were both so stressed. And then she was like, er, we were both talking and I was like, you know what? I really want alcohol. She's like, yeah, so do I. And then she was like, do you want to come over and drink some alcohol? And I was like, oh my God, that sounds amazing right now. So I went to her house. We watched some Gossip Girl. And she's such a good little, like, housewife. I love her. I want to be her so bad. And her boyfriend, her and her boyfriend are couple goals. And she cooked me a pizza. So cute. She's such a great friend. I love Jackie. She's amazing. Um, what else happened? Ooh, I have some family drama. Do I have enough fam time to can talk about my family drama for six minutes? Yeah, yeah, you know what, I will, because this is another reason why I need vacation. This made my mom cry. I know I just giggled there, but it's ridiculous. My grandma, I've talked about my grandma a lot on this during Speed Build, because she's ridiculous, but mm, this one actually made my mom cry. So, my grandma told my mom two months ago, I need to make a doctor's appointment for my eyes. I need to make an eye doctor appointment. My mom was like, fine, yeah, I'll call him and make an appointment. So my mom was at my grandma's house. She called. Remember that my grandma is not my mom's mom. She's my dad's mom. So she calls and she, the doctor says, I only have something two months from now at 7.30 in the morning. And my mom again was at my grandma's house and goes, so we, um, mother-in-law, because that's what she calls her. Mother-in-law, will you be able to be up at 7.30? Are you okay with it being at 7.30? And she's like, yeah, yeah, but I'll be up. I'll be up. She goes, okay, I'll make the appointment. So two months later, the day before the appointment, my mom gets like an automated like text message and it says, oh, don't forget your doctor's appointment. And so my mom calls my dad and is like, okay, you have to take your mom. And he goes, oh, I can't. I'll ask my brother, my uncle. And so he calls my uncle. My uncle's like, yeah, I'll take her. So the day before, the night before, he calls my grandma and's like, okay, be ready at 7.30. I'm going to pick you up. My uncle lives two hours away. And my grandma calls my mom and's like, oh, no, 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 no. I do not want um, Manuel, my son, to drive two hours just to take me to my doctor's appointment. And my mom was like, okay. And my grandma was like, just cancel it. Just cancel all of it. I'll go some other time. She waited two months for this appointment. And so my mom doesn't cancel the appointment. What she does is she finds a way to make it work. So this was the plan. She asked her coworkers to come in early to work and work for free an extra half hour just so my mom could leave work early to pick up my grandma because my sister was going to wake up early, take my grandma to the doctor's appointment. My mom was going to meet my sister there and then take my grandma home. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So like 7 a.m., my grandma calls the house. I'm getting ready for work. Like I'm about to leave the house. My sister's getting ready to take my grandma. And my grandma calls and she goes, you know what? I'm not feeling well. Cancel the appointment. And my sister was mad. She was so mad. She was like, I have class at 9 a.m. I could have slept in. 
Yeah. And then my mom was like, oh my gosh, grandma's sick. And so she calls my grandma during her lunch. Remember, she asked people to come in, and they did, for her, so she could leave early to, like, pick up my grandma. She calls my grandma, and my grandma goes, you know what, my caretaker was sick, I couldn't leave her. And then, in, in the background, you hear the caretaker go, no, 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 I'm not sick. <laughs> she just didn't want to get out of bed, and my, it made my mom so furious. Because she had people come in, cover her. She went above and beyond for my grandma. And my grandma was like, no, I don't want to get out of bed at 7.30 in the morning. And then, oh, this was the icing on the cake. This is what made, like, push my mother over the edge. So, later that day, my mom went to go visit my grandma. Make sure that she's taking her pills and, you know, what she normally does. And... My grandma had the audacity to, to look at not even, she didn't even like look, at, look and say this to my mom, she just said around my mom, what type of person makes an appointment at 7 a.m.? And my mom was like, what? I t it was so bad. And like It pushed my mother over the edge and she started crying and it was, my grandma's ridiculous and spoiled. That's all I can say about my grandma is she's spoiled. She's, like, the worst. I love her, but she's the worst. I haven't seen her in, like, probably months. And she lives here in town. I feel really bad that I don't see my grandma, but it's, like, I have stuff to do. I say that as I'm, like, recording this voiceover. I have stuff to do, grandma. But it's... <laughs> yeah. I have school and this and work and actually work has been giving me like 40 hours so don't have time and i'm getting close to the end of the video so i'm gonna leave it off here let me know what you think of this build of course this build can be found in the gallery under the name bates bates house yeah bates house it's also on the thumbnail and in the description box below let me know uh, did I say let me know what you think of this build? If I did or didn't, let me know what you think of this build. Let me know if there's a certain house style or something you want to see done. I'll build it. Like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things. I'll catch all of you guys next time. Bye, everybody.